Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you uh, like brief introduction about the AWS Code Guru and how we can utilize that. And also I'll be showing you about the AWS Code Artifacts. These are part of the CI, CD and DevOps part, like how we can have the commit, build, and how we can deploy, how we can have a release strategy and all, all those things. So this is also a crucial part of it. So, part of the continuous integration and continuous deployment. So just uh, introduction I will be showing you. So starting with the code artifact. So it is a fully managed artifact repository for the service and it makes it for easy for the organizations in order to you know uh, store their uh, packages, publish or share any software packages with the other uh, development teams. And also it will be like uh, one common repository for handling all your packages in one place. So it can be configured to automatically fetch the software packages, dependencies also, even from the public repositories, artifact repositories like from the NuGet, Maven and all, we can have the access from there and that too with the latest versions we can have. So I will be showing you like how we can embed with our ID. So I'll be using the Visual Studio. So I will show you how we can utilize that. And development teams often, you know, sometimes they rely upon both open source packages as well as those packages that are built in the organization. So for them, this is very like useful tool that they can use. And the, regarding the payment, I think uh, for the first initial month, it is free and we can have a uh, two GB of packages that is free of cost. We can keep it and, uh, and rest is again like pay as you go artifact repository service depending upon the needs of the organization. So there is no cost like dependent cost is there like every month like that, nothing like that. Just pay you go, pay as you use that service. So there is no software update to the servers or something is being managed through the code artifact. So you can just see this a whole Featureization over here, you can see we have the public artifact repositories. We can have the pull application, pulling it from the like pull application dependencies from public artifact repositories. Also, this is what the code artifact is doing, and it is keeping it secure, scalable, cost effective, and at one place that help your developers to manage their packages. And we can have multiple repositories and all we can have in one domain, we can map it to multiple repositories under one domain. So I will show you how does it will work and we can publish and store our packages. Then it will help in our code build as well as CID CD systems also. So this is how it is all connected, our artifact things. Then uh, next thing is Code Guru. So basically just I will give you a quick review about it. Like in Code Guru, it is basically a reviewer is there that helps you to find out the issues. Normally it is mentioned like Python and Java. This is a uh, outdated content is there, but uh, any you can use repository in order to review your code and what are the vulnerabilities in your code and whether you have exposed the secrets and all or some resource leaks are there, concurrency issues are there or incorrect in input validations or something practices that should not be there that you have followed in your code. So it keeps on, it is based upon machine learning and it is automatically they review your code. Within five to 10 minutes, they will let you know like what are the things that should be improved in order to maintain the security. And it also provided recommendations like what are the vulnerabilities based upon OWSP that is our open source authentication system, it is there. So, and also, you will be having the internal security practices. What are the best practices? So I will show you how it works and uh, it helps you to improve, basically to improve your code security and it gives you the recommendations. So we'll go through this and so let's move on to the hands-on. So I will just go to my AWS console. So here you can see it is a AWS code artifact is there. So the very first thing that we have to do over here, we have to create a repository. So we can utilize this. This repository is for our artifacts, all the packages and all. So I'm just writing over here, AWS artifacts. So you can add some description also if you want. And now here one thing, like while creating the repository also you can mention, or after creating the repository also you can mention, like in one domain you can have, have multiple. Now you can see your way in this repository I'm defining over here, NuGet store. 
this I'm adding. It is optional, you can add it later also. And click next. And this is my account. If you're using some different account, you can give the permissions to that particular account. Actually, I'm using a root account that is not recommended. So domain, let's say AWS artifact domain and AWS key, let it be the same. And next, you can see external connections, basically that you get org domain and your repository, whatever you have. So this is how we are going to create. So you can see over here, uh, the details over here, it's mentioned over here, you can see upstream repositories are there. So if you go directly to the repositories over here, you can see AWS artifacts as well as NuGet store. So these both are coming under the same domain. So if you go to the domains over here, you will find. So you, this is the domain under which if you click on this, we have both the repositories coming under this. You can see over here. Now how we can connect to our Visual Studio. So you can see over here, I'm already using the AWS, this toolkit over here. So you need to utilize this, then you can see over here, this is the code artifact, AWS, you can see artifact domain, and then you can see whichever you want, you just copy you from here, and then you need to go to the uh, manage NuGet package over here, So you can go to the settings over here and you can define over here. You can use this plus option over here and you can define the package source over here. That will be this one. So, so we need to provide some name, ART artifacts. Okay, that's it. So now we can change the position also. So the very first thing that it will check, it will check it from this repository if the package is available or not. So we can change the position also from here. Now uh, there might be some issues with the permissions and all because I have using the root user. So, and this user is not my the root user. So there will be some issues like while installing any package and all. So make it sure you are using whatever user to that permissions are given. Otherwise, it will give you the message over there, unauthorized, something like that. So, it will take some time. So you can check in my previous video how I can utilize this AWS toolkit. I can have it over here. So I can just see all the resources over here. You can see it is not being authenticated, failed to authorized. So that is the issue. So we need to make it show the user that has created those repositories and all that should have the permission. Okay. So you can see this is unauthorized, so I don't have the permission unable to load the service index. So anyways, uh, the main purpose is like, we need to copy from here, NuGet source endpoint, and we need to mention in our NuGet package. So next time onwards, it will start picking up from there. So that is the main purpose of the artifacts. Now, uh, make it sure you delete also, once this uh, lab is being done. So delete the domain and delete the repositories, otherwise you will get charged for that. So once it is artifacts are added, so when you go to the code build, so you will show that you will connect your artifacts over here. So it will automatically build. So no need of uploading it separately. So rather you can keep it in one place. So that is one advantage we are having. And next, talking about the code guru. So in the code guru, 
you can also utilize your existing repository either from the git or you can see there are two options are the code group profiler so that is basically to fix fix the inefficiency in your application and one is associate a repo repository and get the intelligent recommendation so I, I was talking about this one so let's get connected over here and either you can use code commit or bitbucket or whichever you want so i will just use my connect to my github account so make it sure you select the repository let's say i'm using this one and you can select the master branch or you can type it over here master and you can see and you can just click over here associate repository and run the analysis so it may take 30 seconds to associate plus it will take some time to you know to create the full detail about your code so you can see this was my previous code being added over here and by default one demo is also there so once you click on this one it will show you the recommendations oops i uh, hope oh, i deleted i think so i oh, know it's there so the requested resource not found i think i deleted the resource that's why i deleted that one so anyways it is loading our existing one so you can see this is the associated one repository that is being added from the github okay that's fine so we can just check this detail over here we can go to the code reviews it will take some time you can also you can see this is giving you full reviews over here We we'll just wait for a few minutes and we will see over here what other reviews are being added. Okay, so you can see over here, uh, this like this, it is already done. The analysis is being done. So it is showing that uh, zero lines of code were reviewed and there is no recommendation. But uh, actually, I think there was just a template over there. That's why. So it will just give you the whole details over here. I'll just show you the demo. So you can have an idea like what kind of recommendations they will give. So this is like depending upon the repository over here. So you can see you will get like this SRC resources application config line. There is some uh, URI formatted database connection string is there. Then so all those things it will give you the details. So this is all based upon machine learning. So you can see that there is some problem with this so it will highlight like this so you can see there is a key is being there secret key is being used that's why so it is to be replaced by the merchant language to be set by the merchant so this these are the things that we can uh, like utilize in code guru in order to make sure our code is secure and all and uh, we are not using like secrets basically it is just giving you recommendations that you can utilize in order to review your code review your repository so i hope you like my video thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel